Welcome everyone, this is Castle Story, I'm Drake Hawkins and I'm here to give you 5 key tips for total beginners at Castle Story version 1.0. Stay tuned to the end for a little bonus and without further ado let's get right into them. Tip number 1 is giving your Bricktrons tasks to do and doing it right. Bottom left you'll hit the new tasks. Find yourself the harvest tasks, choose one of them, preferably to start out with choose trees. Find yourself a nice happy little spot of trees and click down. That's going to give you a small little radius if you grab the little yellow bar around the outside in any direction and increase the radius. That will give them the new task. Make sure you hit the apply or the OK or their task will not be activated. Nobody will do it. Look at that. Off they go to do work. Now, once you get those trees, your first next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you build yourself a chopping block. So you'll select that, place it down, look at them all go to work. Once done, you can select any construction object and you're going to have to make sure that you actually tell it to produce planks. Like that, the little icon will appear and they'll start working on it. So remember, always click that OK button. Tip number two, stockpiles. Stockpiles, stockpiles, and more stockpiles. In Castle Story, you are going to need a lot of stockpiles. I like these little 2x5 sets here just to make things easy to flow. They can only access stockpiles that they can physically get at from at least one side. Make lots of them. Make sure you hit apply or hit the OK to get them working and build those stockpiles. Remember, if they run out, of, wow, that's a flipping brick. If they run out of stockpile space, they will stop doing jobs that require them to put the product somewhere. So make sure you keep those stockpiles either empty because you're using this stuff or just build more of them. Don't be surprised if you end up with 30 or 40 or 100 stockpiles around your base. My tip number three for you is going to be to defend early and to do that you're going to have to build guys like this little guy. Making your first defenders is going to take a few steps so here it is. You're going to build yourself an armor kit like these fancy things and then you're going to equip them with some armor. Those are actually called kits. Each of these kits is going to be built in different workshops. First one is the actual workbench, which will allow you to build the halberdier's kit. It will also allow you to build the archer's kit. Secondly, in the forge, you can actually go ahead and build a knight's kit. He's super cool. In the laboratory, you're going to be able to build the alchemist kit. And bombs. If you select the machine shop, you're going to be able to build the arbalist, which is a really strong archer. And last but not least, in the altar, right down at the bottom, you're going to build the Artificer's Kit. That's an expensive one, but it is going to be amazing because it's going to keep your little dudes alive. Which is going to bring us to number four. Keep them cute little yellow puffy Bricktrons alive. A couple ways to do that is both in the altar. One is, like I said, with the Artificer. The other is to build yourself a Healing Ward. Once your Bricktrons are finished building the Ward of Healing, you're going to have to actually go ahead and place that thing. So that's another task. Go ahead to construction and right down to structures and grab yourself a healing ward. Place that somewhere in the relative vicinity of the safety of your base. There you go. One of the brick trons is on his way to go grab it. He's going to come, place it down. Once it's placed, it'll produce an area where your soldiers and your brick tr other brick trons can hang out in a happy globe of healing. Tip 5 is going to be early expansion. Go ahead and select that altar again. It's an important one early on. And find yourself a capture ward. Once your Bricktrons have delivered supplies, let one of them get to work on building that ward. With the ward build, the next thing is just going to be the same as with the healing ward. You're going to grab the build menu and find the capture ward. Place it somewhere in the close proximity of a shard and let him get to work it and bring it over for you. Once your Bricktron has placed the capture ward, the shard will eventually be captured automatically by the ward. It's got a close range, so make sure you place it relatively nearby. Once linked up, this new shard, along with all other shards you've got, will slowly funnel wisps off to your crystal. Once you get that crystal charged up, you can go ahead, right click on the crystal, and spawn a new worker. Welcome, little smithers. Thanks for watching through to the end, and as I promised, here's your bonus. These spots used to have stumps. Everybody hates those stumps in the way, including your Bricktrons, having to hop up and over them every time they want to go by, just like this little guy. Although he's very, very good at it. To take care of them, you're going to click on the construction tasks one more time, and left control 
Like always to delete a construction, you left control on a stump. That's right, you just tell them to go ahead and delete them, and they will. Once you activate, again, that OK checkbox. Now there's a whole bunch of Ricktrons gonna go ahead and hack them up for you. Save yourself some space, get rid of those stumps, and make sure that you got lots of room for extra storage. Thanks everyone for joining me for my five key tips for total beginners of the Castle Story version 1.0. And if you have some more tips for anyone, including myself, I'm no pro, so how about you help me out? Throw down those tips in the comments below and I would be super happy to learn more along with you. Thank you so much for joining me and as always, we'll see you in game.